Hey everybody, Mr. Quick here. Today's lesson is actually going to be very quick because we've talked about this before and what uh, we're doing here, which uh, we're starting Eureka Math slash Engage New York Math Module 2, Lesson 7. What we're doing is we're looking at visual fraction models and how they relate to the equations. Um, if we had been following just the Engage New York as it, as it is written, this would be one of the few times we've looked at the equations, but because I like the equation model and I like to show you different models, we've looked at that before. So this will be partly review, but I also want to make sure that we understand, um, one, I'm going to introduce kind of a new term for you, so that's important, and then two, I want us to understand that these two things are interchangeable, and you can use either one to get to your answer. So let's first take a look at our new term, multiplicative inverses. Okay, that sounds like a fancy big word, or two big words, I should say, um, and it may be, but the definition is simple. Two numbers, <laughs> there we go, fix the typo, two numbers whose product is one. So two numbers can be multiplied together whose product is one. So let's take a look at, for example, three-fourths and four-thirds. They are an inverse of one another, right? They're, you, they're flipped. So if you multiply them together, they're going to come out as 12 over 12, which is the same as 1. So 3 fourths and 4 thirds are multiplicative inverses of one another. If you switched it and you said 4 thirds times 3 fourths, if you switch the order, then same difference, right? 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 4 is 12, you get 1. So it, it works either way. And so if we wanted to look at that in a little bit more algebraic terms and actually use um, some variables, we could say A over B times B over A is the same or is equal to b over a oops, times a over b because you can flip it right it doesn't matter which order so it is equal either way and those are both equal to one okay so that's looking at kind of a general form but this shows because they're equal to one that those are multiplicative inverses of one another Okay, same way we looked at 3 fourths times 4 thirds, that's also equal to 4 thirds times 3 fourths, and they all equal 1. All right, jumping into our next section, we're going to talk about how our equations and how our visual models are interchangeable. Okay, so we've got a problem here, 3 fourths divided by 2 fifths. So what it's really saying, or one way to say it anyway, two-fifths of x is three-fourths, right? Two-fifths of what number, in that case, since we don't know the number, I'm going to use the variable x, is three-fourths. I'm also going to erase my weird-looking... There we go. That's better. Question mark. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a visual model. So I'm going to create two-fifths. So we have one two, three, four, five parts. I'm going to fill in, leaving a little space to write, two of those, so two-fifths. Now I know that that's going to equal three-fourths of the total, but what I don't know is the whole total number. I don't know what that is. I know this part is equal to three-fourths, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to take the three-fourths and divide it by 2, because there's two sections there. 3 fourths divided by 2. We know we can do the keep change flip. So I'm going to make that into multiplication. I'm going to make this 1 over 2. 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8. So I know each of these is equal to 3 eighths. And if any part is equal to 3 eighths, they're all equal to 3 eighths. So if we want to count them up, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 eighths total. 8 goes into 15 one time. 7 remainder, 7 left over. 
denominators stay the same, we end up with an answer of 1 and 7 eighths. Now what I want to show you is considering we've done all that work, I'm going to erase a little bit of this here, to see the visual model, now I want to, I want to show you the keep change flip model. We'll do that in red. So we, we're going to keep 3 fourths the same, keep, change, flip. Keep this the same, we're going to change this to multiplication. We're going to flip this over, so we have 5 halves instead of 2 fifths. We're going to multiply straight across. 3 times 5 gives us 15. 4 times 2 gives us 8. Again, we know 8 goes into 15 at one time. 7 left over. 1 and 7 eighths. Two different methods, getting where we need to be, getting where we want to be. Two different methods, same answer. Okay? Now, um, which method you choose to use, I'm going to tell you. It's up to you. How we get to the right answer, there's so many different possibilities. Use your own math creativity. Now, what I will say is that there are times when creating a model may be difficult to, depending on the size of the fractions. There may be other times where you end up with a large, um, if you just by doing the keep change flip, you may end up with a large. Um, what do I want to say, improper fraction, that you then have to do a division problem, and depending on your comfort with that, you may not want to do that. So there's kind of two different ways to look at it. There's more than two, but there's two we're looking at right now. And how you get there is depending totally on what you're comfortable with. So we're going to do some more examples together, but I just wanted to briefly touch on that and kind of go over that concept with you. So pretty short video today. Um, we'll talk more in class. Thank you for watching.